So we're just adding salt to what will be boiling water and freezing water because salt is magical. Um, it makes water boil at a higher temperature and freeze at a lower temperature. So this will boil up higher than 212. This will freeze below 32. Shock. Blanching is cooking something at a boiling temperature and then putting it to something really, really cold. Mm -hmm. So in this case, I've got regular just tap water. I've put in a lot of salt. Um, same thing with this pot, it's tap water with ice and salt. Uh, salt itself has magical, it's not magical, but because the nature of salt and how it works, it's, it's an endothermic reaction. So it absorbs heat essentially. So if you put it in water to boil it, it means the water's gonna boil at above 212 degrees. Remember yesterday, that's the boiling point. Mm -hmm. We're now raising the point where it boils. So this will actually cook at a higher temperature than if it was just regular boiling water. The other benefit, it flavors your food, it's salted. If you put it in ice, it lowers the freezing point because it's absorbing heat. So water now freezes below 32 degrees. So I've changed the science to make this cook hotter and chill colder, pardon my horrible grammar. <laughs> what we're gonna do with this is we're basically gonna just get it to where the outside gets hot and then chill it rapidly. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna cause the skin to kind of split and fall apart without actually cooking the tomato. Um, this is the concasse, we'll do it again tomorrow when our stocks are gurgling happily away. Um, so a true concasse is a tomato with no skin, no seeds, and then diced up. And that's a true concasse, you have to put it on a salad or something. So to do it, you better get rid of the stem, because this, like the onion, is holding everything together. And then we want to create a place for the skin to actually split off. So what we want to do is get your knife and you're going to choke up on it like you would in baseball. So my thumb is just below the tip and the rest of it's kind of against my forearm. If you notice, the blade is not near my hand. So unless I'm like trying to like scratch my belly, I'm not going to, yeah, I'm not going to hurt myself. For the tomato, I'm going to insert the blade at about a 45 degree angle. Bloop. And then I'm going to twist the tomato not the knife. So my left hand is not going to move. And I'm just turning the tomato around it. So what happens is a little core pops out. Next part, cutting the top, you just want to put a little X, that's a big X, just a little X on the top. And then that way we've given a place for the, the skin and the water again to kind of help pop it off. Blanching and shocking is a technique we'll talk a lot about in weeks, four weeks. It's commonly used to half cook vegetables. You want to put the vegetables in the hot water till the color sets. Carrots turn bright orange, right. um, and then you rapidly chill it so it stops cooking. And then you can finish the cooking process later on. Blanching is a very short term technique. Um, I've seen a lot of cookbooks and a lot of chefs be like, oh, it blanches for 30 seconds and 45 seconds. And that's terrible. The water should not change color. If you see it changing color, that means the vitamins from the vegetable have now leached into the water and they're no longer in the vegetable where you want them to be. They're in the liquid. Don't slam dunk it in there. They're hot water. <laughs> just put it in. You can use spoons, you can use tongs. Um, as you get better, you can just use your fingers. So right now we're getting it to be really, really, really hot. That's blanche. This is the blanche. And for how long? Just a few seconds. 10, 20 seconds is all we need again tomorrow. And then, now it's done, I'm gonna pick it up, I'm gonna put it here in the ice water. So again, this is below 32 degrees, so it's kind of going through thermal shock, which is gonna cause the, cause the skin to split and help us peel it. It's already started. So, you can already see mm -hmm. that whole side basically just peeled off, but the if you actually feel the tomato, which, come on around and feel it, yeah, the idea is to not actually cook it. It's just to get the skin hot enough to where it will come off the tomato and it's easy to peel. Next part, you actually have the cross to cut into. Stop falling over. So I'm just gonna cut it. Cut it again. So with tomatoes, you can actually see, like you can see where the stem is at. You can see where the seeds are at. With Romas, they're easy to see because basically the stem connects at the point here and you've got the root part, so we will take them out. So you just take them out. If you need to, wash out the last seeds. All right, 
So now we just have to dice it up. So I'm going to cut the tip off so it's squared up, cut the root off so it's squared up, and then it's the same thing. Create your planks, come across, square it off, and you have a diced tomato. No seed, no skins, uh, you get just that pure tomatoiness. Uh,